Hey, how's it going today? It's uh, 27th of January, Saturday. There's a lot of things happening, I think. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, from kids and uh, adults. Kids and adults shouting in the background it's, it's, since it's Saturday. There's a new game perhaps that came out. Uh, I heard that they just uh, finished downloading, so <laughs> why is it so nice? It's not good. I don't know, I don't know. There's a lot of things happening, right? Uh, let's progress. Uh, in uh, this video, let's take a look at uh, StarCraft T. And uh, uh, for those who don't know this game, there's a great strategic game, right? Let's try to understand uh, uh, or introduce a quick introduction to this game first, and from there, progress in making a business offer to this organization. I would say one of the best, if not, uh, it must be up there, uh, definitely at the top, 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 top uh, when it comes to strategy and managing large groups of units, right, as well as a uh, challenge within itself, that would be uh, multitasking and or uh, how many, I think that uh, what it uh, would come down to when it comes to playing this game, uh, how many tasks can you do at the same time. So actions a second. So I think that uh, sums up everything the concept of the game. People who can do uh, mil millions and millions of actions right, uh, in the second, so think about a lot, a lot of uh, things at the same time, they will succeed in this game. So people that would be people who would perhaps begin with one task, progress in two, three, four, five, you could tell by the, the ranking system, the ladder system. And it's something that I have covered already within a book that I have published, right? Ladder system, that's something that was implemented similar to what you would have in a chess game. Uh, you could tell uh, performance uh, of this game and how many people can uh, manage many number, numbers and numbers of... Uh, the, I would say perhaps 10, that would be a rough idea, 10 tasks at the same time, right? I like to offer to you this organization or the project uh, since it's... Uh, a span over decades, something that was started many moons ago, right? <laughs> Would it be cool to have a character in the game? Uh, well, I'm taking a look at different classes, right? Ideally, I would like to be a Terran as well as Marine class. If, or if I would have, if the hardest within the game would have more my personal features, right? In the game, that would be great. DPS a second, uh, we're taking a look at the largest DPS, so that would be Marines, right? The Marine class. Ideally, I would like to have that, and um, the, let's put together an offer and reach out to this organization and see that that would be something that themselves they would be interested in uh, collaborating and working together. Quickly, let's take a look at uh, this offer. By the way, I'm dead serious, but not necessarily the developer is going to do anything. But who, uh, why would that matter? <laughs> if anything, it's just exercise, right? But, but uh, perhaps, uh, if not this project, perhaps other projects might do something, right? It doesn't matter. Let's progress. Uh, so I have the put uh, prompt, right? And this is uh, some of the recommendations of how to structure an offer, right? So that would be beginning with introduction, progressing into some of the differences or key features uh, for characters. That would be myself. I'm interested in the Marines just uh, because I have DPS, right? And it's very high damage abilities. From there, engaging backstory. Hmm. Uh, I have done a little bit of research to understand backstory, right? <laughs> but uh, I think they even <laughs> have even taken cigars away from some of the people, right? So I thought, it, well, that would be kind of a uh, cool feature, but either way, let's progress. Well, my, uh, for myself, uh, something that I enjoy the most about the game, that would be strategic significance, right? And uh, management of how, how many tasks people will be able to manage, right? <laughs> Before things start falling apart, right? And unique aesthetics designs, so perhaps if that's something that the game developers might be interested in. Uh, taking part in and uh, in bringing more uh, understanding, I would say breaking fourth wall, right? So it will be a real person, a real character, and uh, just running around, I guess. <laughs> uh, small changes, cosmetic changes, right? If they, they would like to do it, uh, I'll try to find the person, the developer, if it's something that he himself would be interested in. And let's see how it can work together. Uh, if anything, in return, I uh, can do marketing and perhaps try to sell some extra copies, right? 
but the uh, game itself it was released uh, as I mentioned to more than 20 years ago so not necessarily it would be interesting doing anything other than TV game as it is. Thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one.